everybody. This is Linda and welcome back to Hands That Cook. This is going to be a short video and I'm going to give you just a little bit of background on it. And um, it's been a good while. It, last summer somebody sent me some cheesecake with a little uh, container of strawberries. And I thought, oh good, I've got some strawberries to put on my um, on my cheesecake. Well, I opened those strawberries up and they were sliced, just like these are, in water. And I thought, well, they don't know how to macerate fruit. So I'm doing this video because I ended up sending them back to her. <clears throat> I'm doing this video so that if any of you don't know, you'll know after this. Alright, this was a pound of strawberries. And I washed them, I hulled them, and I sliced them. And I put them in a bowl. This is so simple. Now all you do, you start out with like a quarter of a cup of sugar. And you sprinkle that on your strawberries. Is that a quarter? Yeah, a quarter of a cup. Then I'm going to just take a spoon. I'm going to stir them so that I get all this sugar uh, evenly distribute, distributed. <laughs> Don't make me say that again. And uh, I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it sit about 30 minutes and then I'll bring you back alright these have been sitting out on the counter covered for 30 minutes and I'm gonna give it a stir and you can see that it is releasing its juices and what macerate means macerate is to become weak and soft. So it softens the strawberries and it the sugar causes it to release juices. And this is what you put on your dessert or fruit cake. Fruit cake. <laughs> cheesecake. And I'm about to make a cheesecake and uh, I thought it would be a good time to um, show y'all how to do your berries and, and give it a little taste. Get a spoon. See if they're uh, sweet enough. If they're not sweet enough, just add a little more sugar. It's not going to hurt anything. A little more sugar, not much. Mm. These are perfect. Now, if you don't want them left in slices, get your potato masher. And give them a few little licks here. And it'll mash them up even further. And I don't want all of them squashed. But that's it. That's all there is to it. But without doing that, you're not going to have a good um, juicy strawberry to put on your dessert. Now after it's sat out and released its juices, you see even more coming out. More juices. Hold on. Sorry. Um, they're ready to go in the refrigerator to cool down. They're not hot to begin with, but I mean to, to become cool to put on top of anything. They don't need to stay out on the counter unless you're going to use them right away. Come on. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So that, uh, you know, you'll have something that tastes really good to put on your dessert. So that's all there is. 
Thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a minute. Hit that little bell that comes up. And um, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, you all take care and God bless every one of you.